this is Yun with Nosh Finder here. Here at Nosh Finder, we bring you unique snacks from around the world, break down those flavor profiles, and stay till the end because we're gonna give it a Nosh Finder rating to determine whether you should try it or not. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below so you can be notified on when the next snack is revealed. In this episode, I will be trying out a unique Japanese snack that I got from a local supermarket. It's going to be... In Japanese, it's strong yake ume, which translates to explosive grilled plum flavored chips. This is gonna be super interesting. I've had ume before, but let's break down these flavor profiles to see what this chip could taste like. Ume is a plum that is part of an East Asian tree species. Although generally referred to as plum in English, it is actually more closely related to the apricot. In Asian cooking, ume is used in juices, flavoring for alcohol, pickled and added in cooked sauces. One of the most common ways to prepare ume is umeboshi. Umeboshi are pickled or brined ume fruits that are most common in Japan, with Wakayama being the biggest producer. It is traditionally made by harvesting ume fruit when they ripen around June and packing them in barrels with 20% salt per weight of fruit. The salt extracts the juice, which the ume is then soaked in for about two weeks. Umeboshi is extremely sour and salty. It actually is served in rice balls or as side dishes, either for breakfast or for lunch. They're occasionally served boiled or um, seasoned, and in this case, with our chip, it's going to be grilled. Umeboshi is often served in conjunction with slivered green perilla or shiso leaves. It's kind of like a lemon and a mint combo. Shiso is part of the mint family and can be either red or green. They have these distinct ruffles on these leaves and is well known to Western countries with this pairing of sashimi. I actually originally thought shiso was ornamental, similar to curly parsley to steak until I went to Japan and started tasting dishes with shiso leaves and realized how much shiso actually complements a dish. In relation to ume, there is a purple form called akajiso or red shiso and is used to dye the umeboshi red. Shiso is kind of this unique herby taste, um, which is a little minty, a little basil, and a little bit of citrus. But when you actually put them all together and you taste shiso itself, it actually is a very distinct and unique flavor on its own. So I've had umeboshi with shiso leaves paired before when um, my husband and I visited Japan. And you can actually find them in kind of rice balls, like I mentioned before, where it's a bit of that sour, salty plum with that herbiness of the shiso leaf. I'm not a huge fan of it. I actually thought it was a bit um, extreme in all these various different flavors. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan, but I am curious to see how close these chips really are to the actual combination of flavors themselves. So let's see. Okay, so let's get ready to try these chips out. They are these explosive grilled yake ume chips. And um, it actually comes from this company called Koikea. And Koikea actually manufactures many different types of potato chips. And actually, on one of our episodes with the brand Polinki, it actually is linked to Koikea as well. And when you look at the front, it actually has these um, big words with strong and fire that's coming out. And what does this mean? So when I was in Japan, I've seen strong in a lot of different types of packaging that they actually have. And it actually is what it literally says is an intense flavor. So it was in beer, it's like 9% alcohol and it's strong. And also in mints that they say it's strong and it's very intense cooling mints that's part of it. So if these are strong, they're pretty strong, so they should be very intense. So if I look at the back, it actually has a lot of um, Japanese words and the same image of the ume. And it actually has these words that I translated in the Google Translate, and it actually means a certain type of impact. Um, so you know that these probably are pretty strong in its flavors. And the ingredients include potato, plum vinegar powder, red perilla, which is the shiso leaf, Bonito flakes um, and red and radish colorings and soy sauce powder. Okay. So if I look at one of these chips, they're nice and ruffled. And um, the weight of it is actually a pretty thin potato chip and not too greasy um, based on what I see. But the ridges actually trap a lot of the flavors in there. It's like not as light as a lace 
chip, but it's not as heavy as our tourist chips that we tried. So it's kind of like right in between. Um, and if I smell it, mmm, I actually smell that herby shiso leaf um, smell that has that minty, basil-y type of smell. Mmm. I think umeboshi, I don't really smell it too much yet, but let's try it out in terms of taste. Oh my god. Oh, it's so sour. Wow. Wow. Ooh, it's strong. Like, you're not joking when they say it's strong. Very intense flavors. The texture of the chip is very light, um, and it does taste kind of like a potato, so it's pretty good. It's like a very thin potato about it being overly flaky and breaking apart. The flavor itself, like once it touches my tongue, it's sour, it's salty, it's ume. And um, the definitely you can taste a little bit of that shiso leaf with that herby taste. There's a little smokiness probably from the Benito flakes that simulates a little bit of that grilled taste, but not too heavy on that side. It's really mainly on the ume itself, and you really taste that strong plum flavor. It's kind of like a Japanese salt and vinegar type of chip. It has that saltiness, that sourness that hits you when you eat it, but then it gets to that addictiveness that you um, like when you actually have one of these chips, at least for myself. I would give this chip a Nosh Binder rating of 5 out of 5. It has a I like, really like the texture of this chip. It really tastes like a potato. And um, even though I'm not a big fan of umeboshi and shiso leaf combination flavors, it's so close to the actual flavor itself. It's very spot on. Um, it's still kind of addictive. Like you have a little bit sour, you have a little salty, and maybe it's a gateway for me to start enjoying and appreciating this particular type of dish. Thanks again for joining me today on Nosh Finder. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click the like button. If you want to support our channel, be sure to subscribe to our channel and so you can get the notifications on when the next snack is revealing. You can also follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook at Nosh Finder. Check out our other videos too. Leave a comment below to let me know what you want to see on the next Nosh Finder. See you next time. Just can't stop eating this bag. I really want another one. I should have bought more bags. <laughs> yeah, and then the, yeah, like he said, it's like the aromatics of the shiso leaf. So umebushi, umebushi, <laughs> actually, let me rewind. Oh, it's